5.83 and today we'll be looking at all five of the Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Legion class Predacons. So as you can see here we have all five with their respective weapons. Very thankful that Cindersar comes with the same weapon that Ripper Snapper is supposed to come with. Well by this point you probably all know by now. These five combine. As far as I know this is the only combiner set in the Transformers Prime line. Personally, I would really like if there were more combiners in each series. But what can you do? Alright, so let's get these guys ready to combine. Alright, so first step is making sure they have no weapons or accessories of any kind currently attached to them. Windraiser and Twin Strike are pretty much okay the way they are right now. So we're going to set those two off to the side. And focus on these three, because for these three, it's easier to start with their robot modes and their beast modes. And the reason I haven't done the transformations this time is because I've already done them before. If you want to see them, go look at their previous videos. So let's take a look at how it's done. Abominus. You ever watched an episode of Power Rangers and wondered what if the monsters decided to try and combine into a Megazord like creation? That's about what this is. Now, first off, like many other people who've reviewed this before me, over here with Not Ripper Snapper. The official instructions would say to have this piece up to form a knee. Meanwhile, you have a very sorry looking foot. So most people just like to slide that knee down to form an actual foot. And it does look a bit better this way. The two feet actually match somewhat. Now you may find some slight issues with the combining of the legs. The main problem is you have really weak clips that the dragon heads of Hunger's feet 
clip into. They don't really hold very well. Could be because they're weak. Could be because they have to clip on the pegs and they're on angle and they're not able to get a full grip. No matter what you do, you have the most asymmetrical combiner. You have a scrawny arm with wings on one end and a giant claw for another for the other hand. It's nice that a bonus actually has a second face, much larger. It kind of reminds me of Knockout's head sculpt, though. Not sure why. As for posability, the arms can move up a little bit at the shoulder. And it has somewhat of an elbow on both. Both arms have this. The legs, that's it. It's just two giant stumps. Personally, I would have liked Hunger's chest plate to be Abominus's chest plate rather than Hunger's tail. That's just me. The armor on his chest just kind of seems sparse. Sure, you can take a hit to the, any of his limbs, maybe even the head, but get him square on the gun, he's going down. But again, that's just my opinion. And as for some play value, by using the giant claw arm, you can actually hold some of the other figures from this class line. And you can use the wings on his other arm to make somewhat of a shield, which I think is pretty fun to do. You can combine all these small weapons into one big weapon, such as this crossbow axe hammer with chainsaw handguard, which can be held in either the very large claw, of course it gets held pretty loosely, or it can be held in Windraiser's beak hand thing. Or you can just use the individual weapons to arm them up like a battleship. Really, the choice is yours. One of the main problems is with this guy is stability. He's very difficult to balance with the lack of knees and lack of heels. He's very front heavy and back heavy, just top heavy in general. The arms have difficulty holding themselves up simply because the shoulder joints are built to handle Hungar's arms, not Windraiser and Twin Strike. So if you have them faced up, you have to really work with it or else they're going to fall over. Also, the head doesn't really peg in anywhere. It doesn't snap in. At least I haven't figured out a way how to. So it tends to fall backwards. But yeah, I mean, he looks nice. He is fun to have. He has a pretty good collection. Personally, I just love combiners. It's one of the few things I actually liked about Transformers Energon, as it's known here in the U.S. Almost every figure in that line could combine with any other figure. Dag nabbit, I couldn't afford any of the ones that did. But yeah, combiners, I like the whole idea of them. In this case, you buy five small toys, and you get a bonus large toy. My problems would be with color mismatching. I would have liked to have these two be possible arms. That that just would have been nice to me. Plus, if you can actually plus if you were able to plug in plug them into the heads instead of the bottoms of the necks or legs, you can actually have some knees, which could help with posability. You might be able to get your two feet to become arms by using the pegs and the weapons and whatnot. Overall, it's pretty good. I mean. It's the only combiner in the entire Transformers Prime series, officially at least. It's got a lot of problems, but other than that, if you already have a majority of the figures, it wouldn't hurt to pick up the others to complete the set. Like I said, all five figures are great on their own. They just combine into something that's decent. I thank you folks for watching, hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time.